Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I posted my last video on YouTube in February. I'm very sorry for taking me so long for the next one. It's just, um, yeah, it was just um, was so busy for me in terms of work, in terms of my personal life, and I just wasn't in the right state of mind to do creative things like YouTube. So yeah. But here I am, I'm back and I hope everyone's doing well and let's start a video with some breakfast guy. Let's go! Let's dig in. I usually go with um, plain croissants or almond croissant, but this one is really, really good. I'll show you the inside. Um, see, it's just so good. Girl, it's been too long. Clock don't feel off the wall. Been out here writing songs Where the hell did the time go? Take on my passions with pain But would you do the same? I'm going so insane Thinking about where you and I go Freak, it seems like forever When you sit and think about it I put my heart out on my sleeve But I can't live without it Baby, we can't keep melting like gelato Too much time by the pool back at your condo Sunshine's made fit, chillin', that's the motto So let's have a quick review on this MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. To be honest, I'm not a tech person, guys. So all my opinions and my feedback, my review is just really genuine and general. So last year, I made up my mind just to get an upgrade from my MacBook Air 2015 to my MacBook Pro 2021 with the M1 Pro chip. To be honest, my MacBook Air, it was really good <laughs> in terms of doing emails, doing Microsoft Office, watching movies. It just, I just couldn't complain. My MacBook Air just couldn't download or install any new application or the software to edit the videos. So it was very frustrating. 
So it was really good time in Australia back then to get a special deal to buy the Apple products. So I bought more than 20 gift cards at Woolworths, which is one of the biggest supermarkets in Australia. Um, so they gave me more than $200 to buy grocery at Woolworths, which is very essential. But then my whole experience of getting the new MacBook Pro with M1 Pro chip, it was so horrible, guys. <laughs> I have to say that it just wasn't pleasant at all. So this is the third time that I have to unbox the MacBook Pro 2021 with the M1 Pro chip. I don't know how many people out there like me have to unbox three times the new MacBook Pro 2021. Yeah, I have experienced three times, guys. I just can't believe it. <laughs> Long story short, um, as soon as I opened my first MacBook, the trackpad just didn't work at all. Um, we was very disappointed, so I went to the store and get it exchanged. And then after three months using it, the whole MacBook was broken. And I brought it to the store and the staff just try everything to open it but it just just couldn't <laughs> just couldn't this is the latest version and it just didn't go right so they just offer me so many options and and I was like oh my god like what I'm gonna do if I open the third one and it just couldn't be right so it's just <laughs> yeah but Eventually, I got the change to the whole new one. Um, yeah, and it's looked fine after a month. Um, and hopefully, I won't ever unbox a Ford MacBook Pro <laughs> 2021. I'm really, really impressed by this performance and the M1 Pro chip it just runs super super fast and smooth this laptop honestly feel like it lasts forever guys so I charge it every three or four days because Apple Silicon is really good at minimal power when they are in a sleep mode and the speaker on this laptop is just so right it's shut a bit different compared to my old MacBook so the M1 Pro chip in this MacBook seriously take it to the whole new level guys. It runs super smooth and super fast. The performance of this MacBook is just, it's just so right guys. I ran into no issue with video editing in Final Pro Cut and the exporting video with this laptop is just it's just stupid fast. <laughs> so should you get this MacBook Pro 2021 with the M1 Pro chip? The answer obviously is depends. <laughs> so if you are a student and just doing like assessment and using Microsoft Office, using PDF file, or you do just some simple tasks like doing emails, watching movies on your laptop. So I would say you should look at the Air, MacBook Air instead. Because the MacBook Air, the Pro, is just nearly half of the price of the MacBook Pro, which should the right value, guys. So if you are someone looking for extra power, extra performance, and do things more professionally because you are app developer, YouTuber, video editor, photographer, so I would say this is just a right fit, guys. So yeah, I have my story of getting a new MacBook Pro 2021 as well as a quick review on this new laptop will be helpful in some way for those who plan to get one in the future. Thanks for watching guys as always and I'll see you guys in my next video.